Hey guys, it's Tisha. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be different. I'm not hauling anything. I'm not really reviewing anything. But for today's Tuesday Top 10, um, as we're all out, all out shopping the sale, and I've brought you a haul, I hope, at this point, but I'm sure I'll bring you more. I just wanted to film this video ahead of time. Like I said, third time you're going to see this look because this is the third video I'm doing today. Who knows what this is from? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I love Hippie Runner. I buy a lot of shirts. Um, a lot of funny saying shirts. Some are inappropriate for the channel, so you don't see those. But I like this one a lot. Um, so I wore it for three videos today. Um, but today's video, I saw like some type of thing when... So I look at Bath & Body Works a lot. And so like a lot of stuff gets recommended. And it was just an, a, like a 2020 um, top... It was like 20 or 14 top iconic Bath & Body Works scents. So I thought, you know, I'm going to like my own list and I'm going to check that list to make sure all the ones I thought of were on it. And they were. So this is that. I'm going to insert pictures because I don't have a lot of this stuff. Remember that when I was um, beginning to shop at Bath & Body Works, I was a teenager or getting it as gifts. I was young, a young girl, teenager. And so a lot of these scents are no longer scents that I want, but they were scents that kind of got me hooked. So I thought that would be kind of be a fun video. Um, if you're new, if you're here for the Bath & Body Works, I hope you enjoy these style of videos that aren't quite hauls or just showing off the new stuff, but I just like talking about it. Um, I love talking with you guys in the comments, as you know, um, just sharing this stuff that maybe my list makes you think of something. So if it does, please share that down below because I love talking with you guys. What are those iconic Bath & Body Works scents for you? Did I do okay? Let me know at the end. And what did I miss? Because I'm sure that I did. Diet Coke not sponsored. I'm sure I missed an iconic scent. But these are the ones I remember the most. They were certain people in my life wore them all the time. I'll share that with you. Or, um, you know, gifts that I would get all the time. So, third video. I'm starting to feel it in my voice. But let's just jump in. Um, so, we're going to start... Number 10 to number one. Number one is my most iconic scent. Number 10 is iconic, but it was never really my thing. Um, and so we're going to jump in. So again, I only have two of the 10 scents I'm going to talk about. So I'll just post pictures of any of the ones that I don't have. So you can have something else look at besides this face. But let me know down below how I did, okay? Number 10. I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings, okay? Japanese Cherry Blossom. Always smelled to me like something from a bathroom. I, I don't know why. I don't want to say bad, but just like that generic like bathroom spritzer that you go into like a convenience store and smell. I never liked cherry, Japanese cherry blossom, but it was huge. It was iconic. I can't not include it on this list, but it was just never my thing. And I do love cherry scents, but for some reason for that one to me, it was just too floral with the cherry. They were battling for me and they never blended well. At least when I sprayed it on me, I never liked it. Um, so I'm, if that was one of your favorites or it still is your favorite, I'm so sorry. It just never ever was mine, but I remember it being iconic, especially when it kind of like was one of those first ones to come out that wasn't your basic ones that they had all the time. Everybody loved Japanese cherry blossom. So that one definitely deserved to be on this list. Number nine, you guys all remember Plumeria. Um, I had an aunt that wore Plumeria all the time. Lotion, shower gel, body spray, it's all she ever smelled like. So that is like a scent memory for me. Um, it was fruity, floral, um, but just not one that I liked. I, I think it was really sweet, um, but it reminded me of her. And I, I don't think I disliked it. I didn't dislike any of these. None of these were like pew, but none of these, some of these were not my favorite. Um, so that was Plumeria was number nine for me. Do you guys think that one was iconic? I feel like that one was around for quite a while. Number eight, Sun Ripened Raspberry. This one had its time in my life. I was not always a Sun Ripened Raspberry girl, but I do remember when I would switch off from my normal scents. Sun Ripened Raspberry was one I would get as a gift. It was very sweet to me. Um, very fruity, very raspberry. Um, but I I don't know. I, I felt like it didn't last very long, even back then. Now we still say the same thing, but I felt like back then I could get like my cucumber melon to last longer than that one. So that would kind of be the reason why I liked it more. But it was one I think that my, like me and my sister and my cousins, we always get like a set. And I feel like my sister always got sun ripened raspberry or country apple. So she just kind of bounced back and forth. Everyone knew what my favorite one was. 
Um, but yeah, so she would smell like that a lot too. Number seven, Juniper Breeze. I know they still have this out sometimes or they've changed it into different things. This is one that has evolved out of Juniper Breeze for me and they've made it different scents. Um, I can't think of all the different ones, but this one was like that first like wintry fresh scent that wasn't like some sweet fruity thing. So that was pretty iconic. I remember I liked it okay in a lotion. I didn't want to spray it on and smell like that, but I liked it in a lotion because it was very fresh. Um, let me know down below though. I, there was like a berry note I think in it. I did. I should have wrote the notes on. I did not, but um, I don't remember what the berry. Well, juniper berry. I think what juniper berry something. But um, it wasn't like a fruity scent to me. It was wintry with a fresh note. So let me know down below if I caught if I was right on that. Number six goes to Sweet Pea because we loved Sweet Pea. I didn't, I never disliked Sweet Pea, but that was a sweet scent. Um, it was, yeah, I liked it. I think I went through a love phase with Sweet Pea. Um, it was never my favorite or else it would be further down the countdown. But I think like, um, you know, for what I've gotten so far, Sweet Pea was my favorite out of the ones I've listed so far. Um, but yeah, I remember that was another one I would get quite a bit of as a teen. I would get a lot of sweet pea, um, mixed in with some of these other ones. But number five goes to Pearberry. I liked Pearberry, but I feel like it was really strong pear mixed with a berry. And it was just interesting when it came out. Like it was interesting. Pear was just not something we were, we were wearing the berries, the apples, the cucumber melon, um, cherry scents, but pear berry was, I thought the pear was very interesting for, for body, for body care. And so I feel like that's why I took notice to it, but it was a very sweet scent. So it was something I grew out of quite early on. I, I don't even think I wore that one past middle school. Um, number four, country apple. I liked country apple, but I wasn't like there. I felt like there was two camps, team country apple, team cucumber melon. Like if you liked one, you hated the other. I think that's how it was. And it was like basic apple. It was like basic girl apple shampoo. Um, there was like a cider note to it or like a kind of something special, but I kind of felt like it was basic for me. I was more of a cucumber melon girl, not, you know. That was one my sister got all the time. So it was always like plenty of it around the house though. So I definitely did smell it a lot. Um, but I just, I would always get the cucumber melon, so. Number three is Twilight Woods, and I actually have that one. I grabbed this at the last, or when I went to the outlet, if you guys remember, because it reminds me of my mom. This was one I would give her, um, I don't know, my mom would like, unu like not unusual like bad, but like she liked patchouli, like little black party dress would have been perfect for her. Um, she liked a lot of scentsy stuff, so she liked mixing like that laundry scent, fresh clean, um, but I do remember that I would gift her this sometimes, because I always love Bath & Butterworks, so I would be the one gifting it as gifts. And it's Lush Berry, Sparkling Mandarin, Soft Mimosa, Apricot Nectar, and Cypress Wood. Just on this, like, my mom would have liked the Cypress Wood the most. Like, she just really liked unique things to smell. We were always so different. Yeah, it just, it just smells like her to me. So, I picked this up when I saw it at the outlet because I was like, oh, good. I can spray this and have a scent memory. I love scent memory. I could do a whole video on that. Okay, number two was Warm Vanilla Sugar. I went through quite a phase of smelling like a cookie. And now we do that in so many different forms, Christmas cookies, Merry cookie. Um, I don't think of anything that comes out in the summer, but like, you know, summer it kind of sticks more like the cotton candy, sugary stuff, but warm vanilla sugar was something I felt like I graduated to from like Pearberry and Country Apple. When I would get those, I was like, ooh, I want warm vanilla sugar. And then my number one, is the other one I have. I have a cucumber melon. This was just another thing I wanted to put in my collection for a throwback. Um, you know, this one, it was a love or hate and I loved it, but more people liked Japanese cherry blossom and I didn't. We all like what we like. This still smells like middle school, like 1996 to me. It smells so good, but this was just a, cr a strong crisp scent. I liked the cucumber with the sweet melon. I felt like it was crisp and sharp with the sweet melon, but it just literally smells like the 90s to me. So that's my list. That's my 10 most iconic Bath & Body Works scents. Please let me know down below how you think I did. And if I missed any big ones, because I really 
made this list myself and I checked it with that list, but there was a few on that list. I was like, oh, I don't remember that being like an original iconic scent, but I'm sure they did their research. So let me know down below how you think I did and I'll bring you guys another video tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.